Hello everyone, I am Punya Agarwal, she is Tushita Gupta and we both are ACC affiliates and the admins of being ACCA. So we were getting a lot of queries about EPSM module that we have in ACCA and so we are here to answer some of the questions and clear your doubts about the same. So EPSM is the ethics and professional skills module that we have in ACCA. So let's begin. So uh, first question, let's understand what a journey is. So yeah. EPSM is an online module that you have to complete after you complete your skills level exams yeah. and uh, it is said by ACCA that you know it will help you in your professional level exams although I don't really think that is the scenario but yeah so it is something that you have to complete after you have finished your skills levels exams and uh, it is an online module. Yeah. So now let's talk about the structure and how much time do you actually need to complete the course. So the structure, the module has 10 units in total when you open it and then there are 7 learning modules in which you will be getting content and you have to understand that and you know maybe you can make short notes so that you, it is easier for you when you are doing the assessment and then rest of the 3 are assessment modules in which you have to you know uh, solve some questions or then there is also a presentation which you have to do make uh, there which will be uh, you know um, evaluated by peers. peers yeah so that is also there so I think that is all and then the time needed actually on an average it takes approximately 15 hours but obviously it depends upon you how much do you want to you know do, devote to that uh, it doesn't actually take that much of time but yeah. averagely it does take 15 hours yeah. so yeah Okay, so the next thing, let's talk about how much it costs. So uh, currently when we are making this video, it's about 75 GBP. So that roughly translates to around 7 to 8,000 Indian rupees. Yeah. So only after that you pay the money that, that you have, you will get the access of ACC right. uh, APSM uh -huh. module and then afterwards you can uh, access, it, uh, access it as, as many, many times, times as, as you want to. So that was that and then what is the right time to start EPSM? So EPSM uh, should always be done before your professional level when you are, you know, going on to your professional level. So we would suggest you that once you are completed with your skill level, you can do that then or maybe while you are doing your skill level you can take out half an hour one hour every mm -hmm. day to do to complete it because only after you complete your EPSM you will be getting your advanced diploma certificate uh, before that you won't be getting uh, your the certificate uh, even if you're completed with your skill level yeah. so that is that so we would recommend either completing it after you are done with your skill level or during your skill level Alright, so uh, now let's talk about what will you get if you complete this module. So first of all, you will be getting a certificate that you have successfully completed the ACCA's EPSM module. And secondly, it's one of the three components that you have to complete towards achieving your ACCA membership. One being the exams, second being the PER experience and third being this EPSM module. So and the last thing is that, you know, when you are understanding the concepts in this EPSM module, you will also get to know about how how real life work scenarios can be and how you can tackle those scenarios yeah so i think now let's discuss some of one of the most uh, asked question about epsm that what if i get stuck somewhere in epsm and I'm, I'm not able to move ahead because i've tried so many times the answer is not uh, coming correct so we would like to uh, say that the there are no there's no, no other way than actually uh, attempting the answer on the platform because the answers are not available on internet and nobody will be able to guide you with that because that's not available on internet you will you'll not be able to find it so one way you can do is try elimination method because obviously there are mcqs in that so you can try elimination method and then maybe you can go back to your learning modules understand the concept once again and then go on to your um uh, assessment assessment yeah. modules and then try again to do the do them better that is the only way because in uh, in epsm you can go as many times as you want back to the learning modules to get knowledge of it so that is the only way that you can uh, you know uh, do the epsm if you are stuck in some question and of course even we got stuck at some questions but we did uh, try the elimination only and that was the only solution we could also get yeah so yeah that was about that and uh, uh, okay, so we have come to an end to this video. Uh, if you have any doubts, feel free to leave a comment down below or you can also DM us on Instagram at BeanVCCA. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next 